Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Consumer Debt Free, currently working on my school loan, specifically my Heartland loan, and I'm trying to save as much money as I can. This video is going to be about how I created my cash envelope. So, these pretty ones over here, these colorful ones, I have um, came up with some new categories and I just don't have the money to buy right now. So I decided to make my own, um, and I followed Alex Alexandria's budgets video, and I'll link her video down below. And I just like kind of like, what's it called? Like I played with her measurements a little bit. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I do these. I need to make, I need to remake some of these because. Like, for example, the pink ones, if you can see this bubble here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a bubble here just because it got caught here. And I, like, just try to open it without even seeing what, oh, you see, like, right there. Um, so I'm going to make the travel one again. Um, I think there's another one I have to make. Let me see. Ay, Diosito. Uh, okay, I think I have to make let me see. I'm just gonna look through them to see like there's a little bubble here, but that's fine And that's why like a reason why I don't want to sell these because when I show you the paper It's like textured paper. So it really doesn't stick well to the lamination and that's my fault because you know um, I shouldn't have got textured paper so yeah, I know there's another one I had to remake because I like I think I cut too close and like now it's falling apart. Cause that's another thing. Like you have to make sure whoever like Etsy shops that make these are like whew, they have their thing down because oh look you see look at this look at this look at this I cut too close so it's my medical okay. I knew I had one to make. I just cut too close to the thing, so. Alright, those are the two that I had to remake. Alright, so I'm going to put these to the sides. And I'm going to show you the paper that I got. It's textured, and I should have... I was so excited by the colors, guys, that I didn't read textured cardstock. But it was only like 5 bucks, so it was on sale on Marshalls. So I was like, the. I was going to say something, but fudge it. Um... But yeah, I got the. They have so many different ones. They had greens, they had purples. I wanted them all, guys. I wanted them all, but I just stuck to these two because I don't know. I was feeling blue and pink. I don't know why. Um, but all right, so we have these two different ones. And I think I have some extras somewhere. I just can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I do remember. Here we go. Um, so when I cut them, this is what's left over. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Because they're like little baby ones. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. However, I do have some extras here. I do have an extra one of these. Yes, is that the same color? I hope so. Maybe not. Maybe it's this one. This one looks a little darker. I think it's this one. So this one, medical. And then, do I have a pink? Yes, I do for travel. But I, I'm still going to cut with you guys just because, you know, I want to show you, like, the full process. I use this as a tester. This is also a very pretty color. Um, okay, so... I basically have them cut already, but I want to show you it. So we're going to go to medical. I think it's this color, to be honest. Is it this color? Yeah, I think it's this color. All right, so I'm going to rip out one of these bad boys. Um, and then I am going to go to my pinks. Oh, I guess I should show you the colors. So we have, like, darkest to lightest. Um, this beautiful navy. We have... I don't know what this color is, but it's also gorgeous. Then we have this blue. Ooh, this one's like my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why. Then we have this one. 
these are all different shades of blue then we have this one then we have this one then we oh this one's also cute i like the lighter shades right now this one is like gorgeous i think i only have one more of this left but it's gorgeous and then we have this one like more of like the sea and that's it and then you can see all the colors on the front all right so there's the blue put that away then we have the pink and corals and i think i honestly took this one for the coral because they were just so gorgeous i think my laminator is done because i smell it it's this one yeah so let me cut this one out all right and i want to show you the colors as well so we have this shade of pink right here it's like let me see sometimes i don't be knowing well i guess these are all okay now so this is the first shade then we go a little lighter these these are the colors like the coral mm, gorgeous like this oh beautiful <gasps> oh, gorgeous so i guess i really picked this out for the coral not for the pinks so then we have that so yes these are the colors i really like this range right here the coral and then the pinks are like Egh. but this is why i picked it right here okay so we have these now i don't often do this because i mean i was doing it in the summer because i had nothing else to do but um since i'm back to work again because the school year has started once i learn something new i have to write down the steps for it so if i do anything new for youtube i always put it into my on the go folio and i got this except all of this at um ericondra.com um you can use my link below to get 10 percent 10% $10 off your first purchase um so yeah V for Valentina and I use this one notebook to um remind myself if I forget because I don't really practice what I learn new I just write down my notes and then I refer back to it okay so I'm gonna put this on the side hopefully and what we're gonna do is we are going to we are going to cut so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut three inches okay three inches for the length yeah three inches for the length so i'm gonna get out my ruler psych my um cutter i'm gonna put this to the side and we're gonna do three inches. Ay, ay, ay. I'm like all over the place. Three inches. Um, okay, that's. I haven't used my cutter in a while. I remember when I first got it, I was obsessed with it. Alright, so we're gonna just measure three inches. So three inches is right here. Hopefully, I'm in frame right here. Make sure your line is matched up. Let me bring this up so we start fresh so three inches and voila okay and we're just gonna keep doing that until the paper runs out just because i'd rather just have it cut already instead of me having to like cut all the time if a, a cash envelope messes up so three inches and i think this one is like exactly three inches or a little bit over let me see yeah it's like basically exactly it's nothing really cut off so there we go three inches so now we have them like this three inches um and i'm just gonna do three inches for this so i'll just fast forward it right now so because i already showed you how i cut the pink All right, so now that we did three inches, I'm going to go back to my notes. And I have to do, um, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Six and a half inches this way. The width, 
Is that it? Length, width. I don't know. But we're gonna do six and a half. And for my if you have this one, six and a half is right here. So I am going to do let me just make sure. This trial and error, guys, because I haven't done this in a while. I'm pretty sure six and a half is right there for me. Let me do a one that I did before. Yes, it is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my brain remembering. And then I have these left over like I showed you before with my little stack. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. But if you have this paper cutter, I've me measured that six and a half is like right here. So we don't have to use the long part. And then I just keep cutting six and a half to each of my pre-cut three inch sheets. So we keep going. We keep going. And I think what I also want to add to the giveaway is some of these cash envelopes. Um, I mean, if y'all want. I don't know with the giveaway. If y'all want, I still haven't, like, I still haven't done my, my homework of, like, how giveaways run. Do I want to do it randomly? Do I want to have it be meaningful in the comments? I'm not going to, like, announce it that I'm doing a giveaway. I'm just going to happen to be in one of my videos. Um, yeah, because I kind of wanted to go to, like, a real, true, like, you know, subscriber who watches my videos. Not so just, like, random who just happened to want to give get like a gift if that makes sense i don't know if this sounds mean but like i feel like i had some subscribers that have been with me like since the beginning or like who found me and then like stay with me so i kind of want to do it like that but yes i was thinking of doing like some cash I mean, these are not the best guys just because it's textured so the lamination doesn't really stick well to it i don't know how long they last because yeah, I just kind of like, it's been a month since I had these. Um, but yeah, so I might put it in a giveaway, like how many cash envelopes you want and what categories. But let me know in the comments if that's something you would want in the giveaway. Um, all right. And also in the giveaway, I forgot to mention that I'm no longer using this just because I bought the other two. So I was like might as well give it to someone who's gonna use it so this will also be included in the giveaway um with the cash envelopes if you want if not like don't worry you don't have to get the cash envelopes um but yes this will also be in the giveaway because i'm not using it and i'm gonna keep this little sticky thing here because i feel like if i take it off it will ruin it and it'll be like sticky so that's just gonna stay there um so yes that's also going in the giveaway um let me see all right now that we have our cut pieces we have to cut the lamination so remember i only need two so i basically have it right here but i'm gonna pre-cut some with you anyway just so that you guys get the full video of how I made these beautiful cash envelopes. So we already have two here, which is basically really all I need. But we're going to cut some just in case like I have the pre-work done. If I need to make some more cash envelopes, if that makes sense. So let me get some lamination. All right, I'm going to take out two. Oh. All right, I'm going to take out two. And again we need our cutter and we're just gonna do we are just gonna do the exact same measurements that we did with the with the um cardstock mm -hmm. so honestly if i save more money i want to buy like real paper that sticks to lamination but colors that i want like neutral colors um okay how did I do these? You see, guys, I'd be, like, fudging up. I think I did it like this, yeah. So, three inches here. Fold up, fold up. So, that's three. And I cut it off where it's not attached because at the end of the day, we're not going to use this attached part. Not for the back end of the cash envelope 
because remember only one side of my cash envelope is covered and the back is see-through which i love so this is another one let's see how many we can get out of this so remember three inches first and then i think this is done yeah this is less than three inches so this is basically what goes to the garbage all right after that we are gonna take this and do the six and a half long so just make sure your cash your lamination is lined up like that beautiful let me see let me see let me see look at that look at that beautiful okay so then we'll do the next one and honestly too though what i forgot to do here what am i doing i was about to cut this all wrong because i'm talking what i forgot to do here was cut off the edge for this part so i know some people like this straight as well so you would have cut that off i just forgot because i haven't done this in a while but i don't mind the edge it's pretty um it's fine to me so we have six and a half here and then we're just gonna cut so all you have are these little pieces and this big one which goes to garbage but you know it is what it is all right and those are my pieces now if you want to clear cash envelopes all you would have to do is flip them and then stick them here however i'm not doing clear i'm doing one color one clear so basic i could make with these what what i cut two four Six. I could make six cash envelopes with this one sheet. So that's not bad. Um, all right, so these are actually, I only need two. So I'm kind of going to put these away. I just want to show you how they were made. Um, and then use the ones I had already cut just because those are the oldest right now. And I'm going to put the other ones away. All right, now we have our clear cash envelope. Now mines have holes in it. So I need to make sure I have room to punch my holes when i make them so what i do is first the textured part i'd like to put inside the envelope just so that the lamination can really like seal it um because lamination doesn't really seal on textured paper i might be wrong but not this textured paper um so i like to flip it so let me see which one's the texture so i'll be forgetting yeah okay so this is the textured side because you can feel it so what i do is i put that inside so that this part gets the lamination on it and then with this one all you gotta do is flip it so that the shiny parts inside so that this can stick to the lamination if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense all right so i have one here oh i might have to do three just so i don't waste paper so I'm going to put mine right here, the first one, and make sure it's lined up right there. So I leave some room on the bottom so that um, I can hole punch it and cut it. And I have my second one, which is the blue, and I have to figure out which one's the texture. This is the textured part, so I want to keep this inside. And I have to put the shiny part of the lamination also inside of the cash envelope. So now we have it like this. Um, and then we're going to put it here as well. And I can put these two close here because this part's getting cut off. Because those are going to be the opening. It's the bottom parts that going to have the hole. So I need to make sure I have room there. All right. All right, that's that. And then you could also fit another one here. And since I don't want to waste, I'm going to actually do another one. Travel or need? Travel or need? What do I want? I mean, want or need? Want or need? I guess I'll do a need. Let me see. How many I have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Um... So we're gonna do a, a, another need here. Figure out which is the textured, which is this part. Then stick it with this. Oh, Diosito. Okay, you see? Now I'll fix this again. You Honestly, guys, you have to be so careful with these because they move. 
so much. Look at this. It's already moved because I like picked it up wrong. Now this one you see doesn't have enough on the bottom. So what I got to do is move these bad boys. That's what I'm saying. Like people who make. Um, oh, I don't like that on top. People who make um, cash envelopes for the Etsy shop. Like this takes patience guys. Patience. And sometimes I don't got that. Hopefully, I think I can do it like that. You know what? Let me just move this all the way down because I'm not going to cut that off anyway. Because I don't need to. Alright, guys. So, like, I'm doing this video because you guys requested it. But don't hate on it. <laughs> Because I am not an expert. I do not have an Etsy shop. I I just did this because I don't have money to buy new ones. And I have a lot of new categories. Okay. So. Now. We have. Um. Alright, now, honestly, this is like the worst part of making cash envelopes, trying to align them, because once you pick it up, too, it moves, so, alright, so, <laughs> wish me luck, guys. Alright, so I have my new laminator, because the other one was not, was so old. Alright, so I'm gonna move this a little bit. And put in my new laminator, which is this one. Um, and so what you do is you carefully insert it with the sealed part first. And I just hold it because I don't want it to like move. So it's a little annoying, but it is what it is. I'm trying to save that Monishka. So. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I should have put five mil. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's so annoying. You see, guys, I'm like a hot mess. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. I should have pressed this because this is five mil. It's that thick lamination, so we shall see. Should if I move the button now, will it change? Oh yeah, look the. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? Fudge it! Like it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. All right, now that this is done. We get our paper cutter again, and first thing we don't want to do, or first thing I do, is cut off the opening part. So, let me just fix this. Alright, so let's see. Hey. Okay, so this will be my opening part because this is what I want to hole punch. So, I'm just going to line it up as best as I can and cut that bad boy. So, now we have... Our opening part. Isn't that cute? Look at that. Oh, I knew I should have done three, five mil. Because it really didn't stick. Listen, it is what it is. I made, I messed up because I didn't press five mil here. But should I put it through the lamination again? I think I might do that, guys. Because this is a little bit irritating. So, you know what? Fast forward now. Let's 
you see that was my mistake okay so i always think that this is touch but nope it's the the buttons in the back so now i'm just gonna let my laminator cool down all right so now i cut all right so i'm gonna start with this one since this was like the first one i put in so i want to cut the ends off i mean the where the cash envelope is open so as best as i can try to line it up and voila you see look at that now it's clear before it was foggy i don't know if you could tell the difference on camera but when i did three mil it was foggy so it really didn't stick and then we have this sign yes baby um okay perfect look at that okay so now this is the this is the this side i don't cut because it's already so close but this is the side that i need to cut now i want to get it as close but do not pop that bubble just because it will open and that's what happened last time so i'm gonna do it there you see it's like close but not popping it all right, now this is the tricky part, guys. We need to do, according to my notes, three and a half and then two more little lines. <laughs> so let's go to three. We have three here. So we do three and a half. This is three and a half, but two more little lines. So one, two. That's supposed to be my measurement. So again, I'll show you three and a half. Am I in camera? Yes. In frame, three and a half, and then one, two more lines after three and a half. So I cut that off, and that is my for room for my three punch, right? Please, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. I was right. Okay, good. Sometimes I like freak out because this looks so thin, but it's okay. All right, now let's do the next one. I'm going to cut off close to the edge, but not to pop the air bubble that keeps this seal. There you go. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And then I'm going to do three and a half and then three more. Three and a half and then two more little lines. So there we go. And then my last one is a little bit more tricky because this was at the end. So I have to cut both sides. There you go. Now let me cut the other side. There you go. And then we're going to do three and a half. And one, two more lines after. And we are done. Why does this look cricket? Fudge it. It is what, oh it's not. Okay. Now, last part, we are almost done. You need your hole puncher. Now, for this, this is not an A5, this is a pocket, no, personal. So I need to move my little measurements to personal. Okay, personal, personal. And then I don't honestly use this because it was just irritating me that one side was bigger than the other. I don't know why that is. So I'm just going to put it here. I just make sure it's like even if that makes sense. So voila. Okay. Another one here. Perfect. And the last one all right and those are my cash envelopes now the way i i have nice handwriting i think but not to be writing it over and over so what i like to do is i use my label maker so this is an old one i got this a long time ago they look completely different i cannot find a similar one like this but i'll link one similar down below but this is an old one i got it a long time ago um okay so I need to rewrite medical, so I'm gonna put medical print. Take out my scissors. So this is medical, and I um, bought 
so that it prints on clear so I don't see that white stuff then we have a travel I just want to print them all out now we have travel now we have also monthly and then in order for it to be below the top the the word I have to put enter shift enter enter and that would make it a second line and I kind of want it in the middle caps is off then we put monthly and what did I make I have to move it again all right print so this one's I mean you could use this but I like it centered oh uh, I have to do it again why does this always play with me? There we go. So I guess it's one, two, three, four. I should note that in my notebook for next time. So travel is a monthly of 20. And then medical is a monthly of 30. Print. Monthly of 30. Perfect. Okay. So, last part is I am going to cut off the little circles as best as I can. Cut off, I mean, yeah. Cut off the little circles. Medical. Then we have a travel. Guys, this is a process. This is a process. So, understand when etsy shops charge you like the the a little higher price once they start their shop because listen this is all takes time especially if you want it like beautiful which i'm sure like all etsy shops want their products beautiful so that people can keep buying um it's a process guys it's a process so if they start charging a little bit more understand this is a lot of labor work this is only two guys two imagine me when i did my all my eight like 24 i think i have 24 in total i was already frustrated by the end i was like fudge it it is what it is so i take my little bean sauce and i take off the white part and i'm gonna put it as best as i can at the end because that's where I have the category separated. And I smoothed that bad boy out. And look at it. Medical. Why does that look so wrong? Whatever. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with here. Take out the little white strips with a bean saw. If you try to do it with your fingers, it's just, it's just so much trouble. Smooth it down here. Monthly. Look at that. How beautiful. Alright, next one travel we have our travel here the beans and then imagine if they like actually handwrite it <gasps> oh no you see that's why i use my label maker because i don't i don't got time um and i also have a full-time job so it's not like it's, i have a part-time i'm in school no like i'm already grown <laughs> i'm 28 i mean why i keep saying i'm 28 i'm about to be 28 in november I'm 27, like I already have my career. This is just like my passion, money, finances, organization. That's my passion. 20 monthly. Okay, so this is just an extra one that I had. So I'm just going to put this one away. But now it's time to transfer. So we have medical, which has 20, 30. I just um, stuffed my cash envelope. So this one has Monishka. So we have it here, 30. And then travel should have nothing because I overspent last week or I guess two weeks ago for you guys when I post this video. So I gotta. So these are bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them to remind myself that they're bad. Okay. So now we're gonna put it into our binder. So binder it is. Moment of truth. 
beautiful look at that it matches perfectly and now it doesn't have that bubble imagine guys i was so frustrated when i did all of these look how many it just takes so much time guys i was over it i was over it but yes that's travel and then my needs are over here um oh you see how it keeps like getting stuck now this one i'm not doing it i'm not doing it it's not that big it's okay so medical's always in the back i don't know how i had it i think i had an emergency medical i think that's how i had it we put this here and we are done guys yes all right guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to make it less than 30 minutes just because it's a process guys and i want you to know like as the shop owners out there they deserve whatever increase that they want i mean don't exaggerate on the increase but this is a lot of labor um so i understand when they increase their prices after they start their shop because then they really see like especially when orders comes in so yeah all right guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this inspires you to do your own little cash envelopes if you don't have money and you really want cash envelopes and yeah guys i will see you please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye